Zero o'clock. <laughs> Zero o'clock on the old timer. What's up, y'all? What's up? Good afternoon from Cambodia. It's um, it's about 3 p.m. here. What time is it where you are? Where are you tuning in from? This is going to be, um, ooh, I got my reverb way up. <laughs> I just realized from recording something yesterday. Um, let me take that down a notch. There we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is going to be like an easy blues lesson for an eight bar blues. It's just really standard, um, basic, common garden variety blues because next week is kind of Nina Simone week around here. And, um, I had a request. One of the Nina Simone songs I had requested was, um, gin house blues. This is also known as me and my gin. I know the Bessie Smith version. Um, that's the one that I play. So uh, I've made an arrangement with uh, with a little um, easy, eight, yeah, this little easy eight bar blues thing. So this is in the original Nina Simone key, which is D. And um, what was it? What else was I gonna say? Uh, oh, some of the lyrics because I've I've played the Bessie Smith version for years. Um, in a different key. I think it was just a key I picked for myself. Um, and with this kind of song, like this song is so old and it's been passed around so much that everybody does the lyrics a little bit differently. So I kind of, the arrangement that I made um, that's on Ko-Fi for members, that's like a mix of the Nina Simone lyrics and the Bessie Smith lyrics. Like they're so similar, but they just kind of change little tiny things here and there uh, over the years as pe different people cover it. So it's mostly like the Nina Simone lyrics, but I, I put in a couple of the Bessie Smith original things that I sort of prefer for myself or I'm used to playing. Hi, Robin. Yeah, so we're going to get to it, and I'm going to put... I already put them on the screen. I'm so far ahead of myself. So I'm so far ahead of myself that I already have the chords on the screen. <laughs> yeah, so this is great because it's like a good beginner song. It's pretty simple. Um, we're going to use island strum, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or you can use down, chunk up, up, chunk up. Um, I do have a ukulele. I got to pick it up in a second. I'm just getting the talking stuff out of the way. So the chords are here that you want to use. D, G, and A, and with like almost any of these old kind of standard blues things, they would, in the original production, especially on a keyboard, kind of um, dance around between just regular major chords and then seven chords. So I put all of the seven equivalents of these, D7, G7, A7, and for showing like the repeated riff, I didn't put any of the sevens in just for economy of space and ink. So any of these at any time, you can play the seven instead of just the regular chord. So it's up to you. It's up to you. Let me grab my uke. And then I'll show you what we're, I'll show you what we're jamming with here. Yeah, we got D, and let me also, um, no, I'm not going to tweak anything else. I'm going to put the reverb back on later for singing. Hi, Demi. Y'all could hit the like button. That'd be cool. Uh, let's see. Let me get some of my reverb back. So, yes, we got D, G, A. D7. You can do the Hawaiian D7 if you want to. G7. And A7. Okay. So what we're doing is playing one round of island strum or island strum of the chunk for these, um, for each of these bars. So we've got D for one bar, G for one bar, and then D for two bars. And then we have G for two bars and D for two bars. A for one, G for one, and D for two. 
all of these get one round of island strum. So if we play it real slow, we play it real slow, gonna sound like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, chunk up, up, chunk up, B, G, D. on. Let's do it with the sevens. D7, G7, D7, G7, G7, D7. you think to yourself, gosh, that's familiar. I think it sounds like blah, blah, blah song. There's a very good chance that it does sound like about 20 songs that you know. Because <laughs> this is like super, just super standard blues 101. So many songs written uh, before like progressive, more progressive music in like the 60s and 70s started happening. Yeah, it is so many songs. It is. It really is. <laughs> Um, let me find, there's one little thing I added to that arrangement um, that I'm going to show you. So I've got like a sample verse here with the intro because I made like a little arrangement for, I want to move this somewhere. Let me move it on top of this thing. Ding. Okay. And also, um, ding. There. There. So I made this little intro thing that's sort of um, mimicking like the piano and the Nina Simone version, this little intro. So we have D for one beat, G for one beat, and then D for two beats. And we repeat that, and this is kind of like the intro of the original um, Nina Simone version. Um, so for each of these chords, we can play down up down up for D, down up for G, down up, down up for D, like this. One, two, one and two and three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up. Wait a minute. Down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> I knew when I started that, I knew when I started that, I'm like, I'm not really ready to play this. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I gotta go slower. I gotta go slower to demonstrate it. Down up for D, down up for G, down up, down up for D. So the first D is one and, the G is two and, and the second D is three and four and. Down, up, 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 D. This is this like little jaunty thing they kind of do in the beginning. And it's also how you can end the song too. You can come back to this little intro thing for the outro. One and two and three and four and D, G, D. D, G, D. Down, up, 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 D, G, D. I just said G, D, G, D, D, G, D. And again, you can use the sevens with those if you want. Um, what was I going to say about that? What was I going to say about that intro thing? Oh, on the up. On the up strum is kind of when you change the, it's, it's when you change the chord, when you start moving to the next chord, because the change rate's pretty quick, right? 
D, G, D. D, G, D. So that in between, like up strum, the chord's gonna sound a little bit different than your down strum, right? Hi, Tracy. So let me play. I'm gonna play what's here on the screen. I'll put the riff back up because I think there's people coming in that like just got here. Ah, <laughs> ah, I accidentally moved myself. Okay. Here you go. If you're just coming in, this repeated chord pattern uh, is an, a very standard eight bar blues. So this is very useful and handy for playing a lot of songs. In this case today, we're playing um, Gin House Blues or Me and My Gin. It was a song that Nina Simone covered. The original recording of this song was from Bessie Smith, and the two song names are kind of confused throughout uh, it being tossed around different people. OK, so I'm going to play. I'm going to play the intro and then go into the verse so you can see what that's like. Um, and then I'll see if there's anything else I wanted to tell you about this. I don't think so. And then I'll play the whole thing. So this arrangement, um, this arrangement's available on Ko-Fi for members. I haven't made, I've switched plat membership platforms. I never really made a formal announcement on YouTube. Um, but yeah, in case that's confusing. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's a different platform. Okay, so... Yes, gonna play this, and then I'll play the whole thing top to bottom um, with the five different verses. And that's all on the PDF arrangement of this. Um, let's see, okay, yeah. One and two and three and four and one and two and three on the D, 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 D. to the D. Stay away from me, cause I'm in my sin. And now we're doing the island strum. Stay away from me, everybody, cause I'm in my sin. If this joy is raining, somebody give me my gin. And I've also forgot to say, if you just came in, uh, all of these chords, you can use the seven equivalent, the dominant seven equivalent. And I put those somewhere. It's just me and my little chord images. <laughs> so if you heard me playing some chords that didn't sound like D, G, or A in that little demo, that's why, because I was playing the seven. So I think that's everything. I'm looking at the sheet. I'm looking at the song sheet to see if there's any other little notes that I wanted to mention. I don't think so. If you want to play this, um, the Nina Simone version's like pretty upbeat. Stay away from me, cause I'm in my sin. When I've covered it before and played the Bessie Smith version, it's a lot slower. So it's a different, like I would use a different type of strum. I would use a different type of strum if you want to slow it down and make it more of like a, like just a slower blues. It's a different kind of mood. And it's that same kind of strum thing that I was doing for the intro. It's just a down up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Because it's more of like a, like kind of a plotting march, that kind of blues, than it is like this upbeat style that Nina Simone does. That would sound like this. I'm going to slow it down a lot. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. OK, it's down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up. Stay away from me, because I Stay away from me, everybody, cause I'm in my sin. If this joint is ready, somebody give me my gin. So you can.
can really make it, like, even though it's the same rhythm. Hi, Kurt. Even though it's the same rhythm, actually, just changing, like, the tempo and then changing that pattern a little bit, you get a really different, like, vibe, right? In that little, um, the last two bars of that on the D, you might have noticed I was playing the D and the D7 within the same bar. D7, D7. And that's a good way to use like the variations between the just regular major chord and the seven chord. Um, you can do that in any, like any bar that you want. If, yeah, do whatever you want, mixing up these um, majors and sevens, there's really not, like, you really can't go wrong with it, <laughs> using one or the other. Um, and it's that same rhythm, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk. So you're doing a down, up, chunk, up for each chord. Down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down, up, chunk, up, down. saying you know what I'm saying <laughs> there's so much that you can do within these um, within this like eight bar blues and then 12 bar blues is really similar it's like the same three chords it's just mixed up a different way and longer <laughs> there's actually there's a lesson there's a lesson on the channel that's 12 bar blues and it has these little like tricky things kind of added into the lesson and there's a lesson on the channel that's like 50s, it's like a 50s rock and roll lesson and it uses the same kind of progression. This blues stuff was used a lot in early rock and roll. So many songs follow this pattern. Okay, I'm gonna play the whole thing with all the verses. And then I'm gonna see what else is just around the channel or the library to play. Zombie my sin. Yeah. This is kind of a jazzy Wednesday live stream because this request came up and I was like, oh, I know that song. Let's do it. And it kind of falls in the, sort of falls in the old jazzy tunes category. So if there's anything, um, you know, anything goes, jazzy stuff or otherwise, that you guys want to play or hear, then let me know in the comments. In the chat box. In the chat box. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. One and two and three and four and one and two on the intro. Down, up, down, up, down, down. D, G, D. D, G, D. G, D. Here we go. Stay away from me. Cause I'm in my sin. I said, stay away from me, everybody. Cause I'm in my sin. If this joint is rated, somebody give me my gin. Don't you try me, nobody. Cause you will never win. Don't you try me, nobody, cause you will never win. I'll fight the army and the navy, it just be a margin. When I'm feeling high, there ain't nothing. Down. 
down, just doing a down strum, yeah. And a bootlegger sure is a pal of mine. Cause a good old bottle of gin will get it all the time. I don't want no clothes, yeah. I don't even want no bed to lay, to lay my head. I don't want no clothes. I don't even want no bed to lay, to lay my head. I don't want no pork chops and greens. Just give me gin instead. So stray away from me, cause I'm in my sin. Why don't you stay away from me, everybody? Cause I'm in my sin. If this joint is reading, somebody give me my gin. We're gonna go back to that intro thing. D, G, D, D, G, D, 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 and you end on a D7. Somebody give me my G. Yeah, gin and tonic. <laughs> Yay, it's the easy little blues thing for ya. All right, what is up? What is up, y'all? Lesson over. <laughs> Lesson over. If you came to learn simple blues, it's done. There you have it. I'm looking around for something else to play. Let me see if this is the same thing. No, that's 12 bar blues. I'm now looking around the library for stuff that just follows the same pattern, pretty much. There's a lot of 12 bar. There's a lot of 12 bar. I feel like the eight bar isn't as quite as common. Um, great balls of fire. Mm. Great Balls of Fire is almost, wait, that is, was I saying eight the whole time and it's 12? It's 12. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, pointing at it. I'm pointing at it. Oh my God, I just realized I did that. So that'll be fun to field in the comments. Like, hey, can't you count, lady? That's 12. <laughs> Yeah, that's 12 bars. If you're <laughs> if you're listening to me say eight bars and you're like, but Brooke, there are 12. Yeah, there are 12. <laughs> I was totally just saying the wrong thing the whole time. 12 bar blues. This is 12 bar blues. Same idea. More bars than eight. Hi. <laughs> but Great Balls of Fire, Jerry Lee Lewis. Yes, this is eight bar blues. <laughs> Let me see if it's part of this. Not really, it's too much switched around. So other, okay, so we're talking about either other eight bar blue, either other 12 bar blues or eight bar blues. <laughs> Great Balls of Fire uses both. <laughs> Great Balls of Fire is based on eight bar blues. Let me close these. Bing, bing, bing. Because this is fun to do. This song is fun to do. I'm going to play Great Bells of Fire. Looking at my notes for it. 
I think this I think this arrangement is still the freebie one on Gumroad. If you find the Gumroad link in the caption, you can get this arrangement for free. And there's a lesson about it on the channel too. Well, to I'm not gonna do the walk up thing just to see. Shipping doves and around on my brain. Love drives a man insane. Broke my will. What a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I left love because I thought it was funny. You came along and boo, that honey. I changed my mind. This love is fine. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Kiss me, baby. Like a love should You're fine So kind you Got to tell this world That you're my, 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 my Then I twiddle on my thumb Some real nervous But it sure is fun Come on, baby Drive me crazy Goodness, grace is great balls of fire Kiss me, baby Love should. You're fine, so kind. You got to tell this world that you're my, 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 my. I chew my nails and I twiddle my thumbs. I'm real nervous, but it sure is fun. Come on, baby, you drive me crazy. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that to be the end. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What else works? Tutti Fruity. Okay, I want to see which one. Tutti Fruity might be the same as Great Balls of Fire. Wait. What's the first line of that? <laughs> Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity, I'm um, Rudy. 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 Wop, bop, loo, bop, wop, bop, bop. No, that's totally different. <laughs> I think that's 16. Wait, let's see. Two to food at one. On two. Two to three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. No, it's 12. So let's see if it matches. Let's see if it matches. Uh, what's this called? Gin House Blues. Nope. <laughs> Almost. Yes, it does. Wait. It can. So this first line, you want to play Tutti Fruity? This first line is just all D. Everything D. And then after that, it's the same. This is why we love, we love to learn blues, because you can play so many songs. And then it's so simple and like familiar, you can just make up your own songs too. We should make up a song. <laughs> we should play the emoji game. Hey. Welcome to the Uke Revolution, where nothing is planned and everything is sort of a hot mess, but that's why it's fun. Um, if you want to toss random emojis, two or three random emojis in the chat box, and I'll try to make up, I'll try to make up some blues, <laughs> some rock and roll blues songs about it. Yeah, fuck yeah, Andre, let's rock the world together. Let's go. That's what we're here for, raising the global vibration. Creation Station. Robin sent me, is that a sunflower? No, that's like, <laughs> from far away, it looks like a sun, like a bunch of flowers, but it's actually like, is it like a little alien dude? How do I, middle-aged questions, how do I make my chat bigger so I can read it? <laughs> It looks like a little like green alien guy with big eyes. Is that right? Okay. So tutti fruity. 
But anyway, tutti frutti, just play all the top line D. One, two, cloudy face. It's cloudy face. I like cloudy face. <laughs> tutti frutti, D. Just, just D. The second line, keep it the same, D. Third line, G, D. Tutti frutti, I'm rooted. 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 Wop, ba, loo, ba, la, ba, ba, got a cloud named Cloudy. He almost looked really pouty. Got a cloud named Pouty. He almost looked kinda pouty. Tutti, cloudy, pouty. Cloudy face, cloudy face, yeah, yeah, again. Tutti, tutti frutti, I'm rooted. 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 Do da 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 like a peach on a beach. I like a peach on a beach. Ooh, like spicy twice. I like spicy more than once, not twice. One peach on a beach, gonna be a big spicy chili time tonight. Yeah, yeah. I wish I could think of like nonsense words on the fly. Peachy chili peach on the beach. A peach, peach, beach, and a chili, 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 silly, silly, chili. Peach on the beach and a silly, silly, chili. Peach on the beach and silly. A peach on the beach. Got a peach on the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna teach ya. Peach on the beach and a chili, silly, chili, silly, silly, chili. Yeah. Wop, ba, do da, la, ba, ba. You got any more? We're just throwing random emojis in the chat, guys. That's a good one. I like peach and chili. <laughs> if you do more, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll totally do it. Um, other songs. Wait, we did Great Balls of Fire, Tutti Frutti. Other stuff that matches the... Um, Eight Bar Blues, like the twist, let's twist again like we did last summer. No, that has a minor in it, I think. Um, what was the other? Um, just let's do the twist, I think. Let's do the twist. Ooh, bop. Yes, the twist works. Andre said, I just saw a documentary about Sister Rita Zeta Tharp on YouTube. She was a role model. Yep. Um, I thought it was Big Mama Thornton, though, who did Hound Dog originally. Like, Sister Rosetta Tharp, for sure, was, like, a boss. <laughs> a boss. But I thought it was Big Mama Thornton who originally did Hound Dog. And they made a point, she was in the Elvis movie, and they made a point of like showing, I think it was her, somebody playing Big Mama Thornton. And they made a point of having them like in the same room, and he was kind of going, oh yeah, I like that song, I want to do that song. Like it was a community of musicians, and less him like ripping off people, because he has like, that's kind of the depending on how you spin it, depending on how you spin the story, it's either like he was ripping off people and, but if you look at it another way, it's like they were a community of musicians that knew each other. And that's kind of what you do anyway. You like bounce off each other's ideas when you're working with other artists. Although it was interesting. I thought it was Big Mama Thornton who did Hound Dog. <laughs> Telephone? Is that just a telephone? <laughs> Wait. It's like an old school phone. Old school phone. <laughs> it's 
So we're playing Let's Twist Again using the same chords. It's the same ones. Um, no, not Let's Twist Again. Let's do the twist. <laughs> the original twist song from Chubby Chugger. And I'll see what I can do with an old telephone emoji. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Um, how does that start? Just let's do the twist. <laughs> come on, come on, everybody. Let's do the twist. Hey, let's do the twist. Tell me about my little hand. It goes like this. Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Ooh, Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Take me by my little hand, go like this. Call me when you need me anytime. I got your number on speed dial on the hotline. Come on, baby, yeah, you can call me anytime. Just pick up that old school phone from the cradle and dial my number on a touchpad, yeah. 792, 798-7092, yeah. Got it on the hotline. Hey, I hope no one's phone number is actually 798-7922. I just made it up. <laughs> 7922. The easiest numbers to rhyme in songs. Um, two, <laughs> three, four. You're gonna have trouble, a little more trouble with seven, I think. <laughs> what else you got? Yeah, everybody should know Hound Dog um, for sure. And that also matches either eight bar or 12 bar blues. Let me see. So you can use this progression to play Hound Dog as well. Um, and we've got a coconut. We have a coconut in the chat. A coconut has entered the chat. Um, if you can toss me one more. The, the real challenge comes from two very random ones together. <laughs> but I will do a coconut. And today I got a coconut because I live in a tropical location. I got a coconut, and sometimes, no matter what, you pay the same amount for the coconut. I find the coconut a very interesting product. <laughs> um, you can buy it here in, the, in Southeast Asia, you can buy like the fresh coconut, and they cut it open for you, and you drink the water that's inside, but you're always paying the same price, and you never know how much coconut water you're gonna get. So the one I got today was about half the amount that it usually is. And it's the coconut crapshoot. That's what I was calling it. <laughs> so the coconut crapshoot. Sometimes you get a coconut that's like twice as, it's like two, two coconuts worth of water. And sometimes you get one that's like a quarter of that amount. And you just never know. And you have to be like, please be a good coconut with lots of water in it. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down so I can uh, have more time to think about what I'm going to say. Fresh cold coconut. And you're feeling pretty excited. You're gonna drink it from the bottom, the bottom all the way down to the food. <laughs> I'm trying to get something that runs with crap shoe. It's the coconut crap shoe. Where can do this better? You've been out in the sun all day. You're feeling 
You're not feeling so good. No, what what rhymes with shoot? <laughs> All I can think of is toot. <laughs> Try it again. Gonna buy me a fresh coconut, and I don't know what's inside. Yeah, boot, boots coming. <laughs> I'm gonna buy me a fresh coconut. I don't know what's inside. Will it be enough to fill a thimble, or can I fill up my whole boot? That's what they call now, they call it the coconut crab shoe. I gotta think it away. Okay, I've got a cherry and a lion. Okay. you want to finish repeating that last line, the A-G-D. I call it a tag. I don't know what other people call it. <laughs> I call it a tag. You'd play the A-G-D line and then you just repeat it if you want to end like a some other kind of ending. You just repeat it. I was also doing sometimes um, the last bar like if I was planning to go back around and play the same thing and repeat it, the last D play an A instead. As like a little, um, what is it called? Turn around, a turn around. <laughs> um, yes, Mama, Big Mama Thornton and Sister Rosetta Tharp and they were both really really, really important for the history of rock and roll. Um, and all of us, showed all of us the way, pretty much. <laughs> what was I gonna say, I can't remember. Oh, another little trick. I didn't do this one yet, I don't think I did. If you wanna do the walk down ending. At the end, um, so we're on D7. If you move this D7 bar shape up one fret, as another ending possibility thing. A, G, D7, D7, up, down. This is E flat seven, if you're interested. Yay! Um, 
let's, I'm gonna try to think of one more and then I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, Cause I gotta go to my other job. <laughs> gotta go to my other job on the computer. I have to commute to another website um, and eat something too. I'm trying to think of another song. Oh, we're gonna play Hound Dog, I think. Uh, using the same progression, but a lot faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here we go. I'm no crying on time. You ain't not about a hound dog. No. I think um, hard to handle is another one. Baby, here I am. Hey, OC. Hey, OC. Want a unicorn song? <laughs> What is that giant pink hand? We're doing, um, we're doing, uh, this, uh, blues progression and then just doing a bunch of random stuff according to emojis in the chat box. <laughs> what would, like, what would the, what would a unicorn have the blues about? Something like, like my horn isn't sparkly enough or something. <laughs> Wait. Down and down and down and down I be. If like the unicorn's baby left him and he had no, they need to be cleaned. <laughs> Okay. I woke up this morning. <laughs> what would be all over your sparkles? You gotta polish the polishing the sparkles takes a long time. Okay. <laughs> Special unicorn sparkling polishing rag. Ever since my baby left me, ain't nobody gonna shine, spark, polish these sparkles. <laughs> I said, ever since my baby left me, there ain't nobody left to polish these sparkles. I guess I gotta go on down the road and get me a new unicorn. Spark a po polish and rag. How did I not play mouth trumpet today until right now?
Woke up this morning and my unicorn baby left me all alone. He said, I woke up this morning and my unicorn baby, she left me all alone. Yeah. So I guess I gotta keep on polishing these rainbow sparkles on my own. Yeah, I guess I just gotta spend all my time making these rainbow sparkles on my little tail and my horn shine. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Unicorn blues. <laughs> that's a good one. Yay. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Like it a lot. All right, so um, I'm going to wrap it up. As much fun as this is, I need to eat food. <laughs> I got a little ache in my belly, and it's like, feed me. Won't you feed me, lady? I got a ache in my belly. I guess my belly wants some peanut butter and jelly. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope your sparkles always shine. May your coconuts be full and juicy, and may your day sparkle and shine all the time. Thank you, Audrey. Thanks for coming. Thanks for starting, ending my afternoon strong, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. That was super fun. You know me. I love to make shit up, so I'm really happy if you guys can learn this easy blues and also make some help me make some shit up. <laughs> yeah? Um, yeah, have a great day, everybody. Stay funky. Happy strumming. And I'll see you on Saturday for Bonnie Ray. Peace out. Bye.